What's up, guys? Dark Sizzling Put in here today. We are out of Stewart, Florida, and we are catching bait on Bull Shark Barge, which we always tell you about on the Fish Angler app. And we're about to head deep sea fishing. Let's go. We got a fish. Let's go, Sizzle. You there? Come on. Now you got a fish. All right, guys, we're off the Loran Tower. Get up here. You guys know what it is. We'll put it on the Fish Angler app. Let's get the first fish. You got that, you got that, the mutton or something. You got the uh, I got the gloves on. Net? No, I got the gloves, those are fine. First fish of the day. First fish. Is it a gigantic blue runner? Oh. <laughs> oh well, practice for the good fish. Let's go. <laughs> Oops. Oh, he was good bait. <laughs> All right, All get right. a good one next time, Sizzle. Let's get a good one. Good bait, good bait. There he is. Get him, sizzle. Tough a big runner. That last runner was huge. It's true, the last one was huge. <sighs> now it's, I think it's a mutton. The mutton snapper. I don't know if it's a keeper or not, but it's a mutton. Hey, and it might be a keeper. It's going to be close. Woo! Nice. All right, right species. He second, is going to be close. Second catch for me. And he ate a massive, massive bait. And I let it sit there forever while he tried to eat that thing. But slowly but surely, he did. Oh, he's like a quarter inch short. short. Just short. All right. Let's get another one. Get right back to it. Yeah, he's about a quarter inch short. Oh, she still got, she's got one on. Because it was doubled over. Now he's woken up. I think he was swimming on the surface. That's the fish. Oh, that short mountain. Short. All right, another short mutton. Yeah, by the biggins. I don't know. We want to get an anchor, maybe anchor here. All right, guys, we anchored up. Oh, I think I just got kinged. <laughs> <laughs> so we drifted up, did a couple of drifts over here on Loran Tower to see where we get the bites. And you saw we got, and we got two shorts. And so and we tried another drift someplace else, didn't do very well. And uh, this also seems like a popular spot. We don't really come here very often. And uh, so we anchored up where we had drifted and caught fish. And theoretically, with anchoring and long leaders, you should catch bigger snappers on the bottom. That's muttons and mangroves. Yes. All nice. Right. Hooked up. That's screaming. Oh. No. I tightened the drag a little teeny bit and he pulled. I don't know. I thought it was a kingfish. What would it be? A bonita. This I got my hook. That was. I put this flat line out about a minute ago. By hook, I mean I have no hook. OK, that was a kingfish. <laughs> We can get a lot of kings here today because we're <laughs> put one of those kind of king boats around us. We are so surrounded gonna, by commercial fishermen. Yeah, I'm going to put a little wire on there and juke some kings here. Oh, is he there? Oh, I just pulled. No. Jesus. Getting killed. Oh, Dang hook's it. gone. Hook's gone. Want me to get it? Yeah, I'm oh, going to have to pull this back up. All right. Hooked up. <laughs> so we got a menorah on our thing. Ugh, menorahs are so annoying. Stud king. Woo. Usually when I see the boat, they take another run. Yeah. Normal thing. See if we can get this fish in the boat. Come on, put in, catch him. Woo. That's a stud. Ooh. He's solid, 15. Ugh. Need that little gaff. What? Need a little gaff. Got a little blue one. Oh. So you reach him. Oh, he's here now. Nice. Yeah, buddy. In the boat, in the boat. <laughs> Ow, I just got tail slapped. Woo, and that hook just flew right out. Watch out. Nice. There he is, Ryan's kingfish. No bad. Woo, look at those crazy teeth on him. It's been a while since we got one of those guys in the boat. Yeah. Woo! Solid, so flippy. Solid 15 pounder right there. Yeah. Well, he just got gas, so I don't blame him. I think his bonita just ate it. Bonitas don't it? jump out of the water. Something just dropped. It looked like a bonita or like a. It's probably a marlin. Silverfish. He's gone now. Yeah, notice how hazy it is out today. It's because of Saharan dusk. Dust floats, floats over here. A big cloud of dust is over us right now in Florida. 
and it's actually helping with the uh, the sun conditions and the. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's 400 degrees. UV rays. Whoa! Is that big? Bu oh no! Oh, it big wasn't. slice. It was a king. It was a king. King. All right, guys, we're moving spots, and uh, we got these strike line charts, which is a top. It just basically shows real good topography of the bottom. And uh, we found some spots here. Look at this market fish. We're just gonna give it a try. You know, this is what real fishermen do. Brand new spots. They, you know, they find spots. So, let's see what happens here. Drop. Drop. Just cut it. Oh, he said. I was just trying to camera. He said it was nervous and it just got cut. Yeah. So it's cut. I don't, I don't know why it's Felt like a king. No fish. We're just getting crushed by kingfish today. Well, you put you put you put the bait down on the spot and you get a bite immediately, right? Oh yeah, it was an instant bite. Yeah. All right. So I think it was a kingfish. You got bit off. There's kingfish everywhere this time of year down here. Yes, and we have a commercial kingfish boat right next to us. Yeah. So he's in the kingfish spot. I think he followed us here. He was only here when we got here. We're anchored up in a new spot that we stole from Salty Days. Hi, right Captain Rich. And those sizzle has fish. I think it's small. Yeah. It's a short mutton. Today is my short mutton day. Woohoo! Killing it. That's the shortest mutton of the day. Yup. All we right. Use a mustad circle hook. So the hook comes right out and then we can set him right back down. Exactly. And I even tackled down. Even using the lightest fluorocarbon leader, you really shouldn't be doing this for bottom fishing because they can cut you off. But just goes to show you that you know even the big ones are not really want to play today. The little guys do, which at least they're catching fish. So again, the circle hook comes right out. Yep. <laughs> All right, I got it. I got it. Good job. All right. You think you need the equalizer? No, he actually was swimming fine on the surface. Oh, okay. Yeah, no toss him. Equalizer today. Toss him. He's good. We're in a little bit shallower in water, so he can swim better. Yeah. He's there. There. I need to tie not super fast. Let's go, Guggen. Don't worry, I got it. No, I got it. You clear? Oh, he's close. That's a keeper. You think so? I'm calling it. I'll see. I'm calling it. Oh, look at the blood trail going out the boat. So circle up perfectly in my corner. Just open your mouth so I can free you. It is cold, cold water down there. This fish is cold. Yeah, it is. Stop! Right, let's go. Stop! 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 No. Yes. Well, he's bigger than the other one. Is he? He's a quarter inch over. That that ruler's accurate. I know. I'm not worried about that ruler. Basically 18 and a quarter. Yeah, he's 18 and a quarter. He's a keeper. Yay! Nine hours on the water for a keeper! So happy. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the house. We got in nice and safe, and we have a special treat for you on our fillet portion, is I am gonna fillet the fish today for you. Proving that even guys can fillet fish. Now. I'm such a smart strategist that I did such a poor job flaying fish about eight years ago that I haven't flayed any fish in about a million years. As you know, Darcy does it all. Yes. Like, I don't even help like behind the scenes. No. Not at all. So I haven't flayed a fish in forever, and so uh, I'm gonna flay this mutton, and Darcy's gonna give me a little pointers, so hopefully you guys can get some pointers from a little different perspective when I mess it up. You Let's ready? Let's go. <laughs> Should be exciting. Don't waste my fish. Don't waste my fish. Look at Darcy's garden. Before we get started, we got these hoodies. We got new hoodies, and so it's not new hoodies, but we got more extra big, big size. What do we got? Four, we got 4XL, 3XL, all these kind of things on our website. These are the hoodies we exactly wear on the boat. They're blue. This one I think is a different color, but they're the light blue color that everyone loves. Yes, check them out. We got 4XLs. <laughs> all right, let's, where's that fish, Sizzle? Let's go. Go get them. Go. All right, guys, as Darcy would say, let's dive right in. Now, I used to gillnet, I used to uh, fillet a lot of fish. Back in the old days, my dad used to gillnet on the Great South Bay on Long Island, so, but I'm just gonna cap with Darcy does. So we're gonna make a cut right up here towards the head, get as much head meat as we can, right? Brian should be a little expert at this. I should. Maybe after all the fish you've seen the fillet. <laughs> I should be, they just, you don't do it enough. A book smart expert. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back from this way to get underneath the skin, because I know when Darcy does it, lefty, it looks a little dear. So again, I'm just cutting up that, this is the dorsal fin, right? 
Yes. <laughs> Down to the tail. And I'm, I know you guys love it, hate it when she goes through the tail right here. But I'm gonna leave it like that, like you guys want. Now I got this cut open and I, I it messed up a little bit, but I can feel it going through here. Oh, look, and now, see that backbone? Now she just gets underneath that like this. And I'm trying not to cut open the, the belly. And this needs a little more cut up here, but no big deal. When I used to do it for gill netting, we would just slab this off, like you would do with a crappy maybe, but. I guess I, well, I gotta cut the pin bones up here. We're getting it, we're getting it. Just watching it, it looks really weird. Well, because I'm right-handed? Yeah. It actually just comes right off. And of course this knife is so sharp. And obviously if you guys want these knives, you know it's dark, code DARSIZZLE15, the Smith's website. How was that? Oh, that's pretty good sizzle. Now what you guys all want her to do is this. Good job. It's not bad. And it's a pretty thick skin, so you can do this pretty easily with the thinner skin and it gets a little tougher. Let's see how we did. Well, could have been better. I left a little meat up here. But not too bad. <laughs> I'll get some more practice on the side. But uh, I'm gonna take this inside, guys, and I'm on a diet, actually. So I've been actually exercising since September 1st. And so I'm gonna cook this up in a really healthy and, and nice and quick way so that uh, you know we can all get back on our diet and stuff for the, for the winter and uh, through the holidays and uh, just for a little example. And hopefully you guys can come along with me on this journey. So I'm gonna finish up this fish. We'll see you inside for the cooking with Clint. What's up guys, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Puddin' Diet Edition. As I said outside, we're gonna be uh, on some tight diets around here. Well, by we, I mean me, because Darcy doesn't need a diet. She could eat 50 potatoes a day, and she wouldn't gain an ounce. Her, her and her father were blessed in that regard. But, uh, so come over and take a look at this. I'm just flipping some of this fish, and I'll tell you how I went about it. But first, you know, let me tell you a couple of my qualifications. Come back up here, Sizzle. Now, I, I haven't worked out in, a, in honestly a number of years now, but I started working out when I was like in eighth grade. My dad gave me a set of weights, and I became like the strongest kid in my high school, and I did some, I was actually in a natural bodybuilding magazine, and so I know, I know a lot of you guys want to give me comments down below, but I've been, I worked out and dieted, you know, short fat guys diet their whole lives, so I've been dieting <laughs> since, <laughs> since uh, college, and you know, I really got pretty good at it, and I'm really good at you know at training this kind of stuff, or at least in my opinion. So, um, but here's a couple pictures of my heavy training days, so you can take a look to see some of my qualifications. The main thing, guys, I know there's all these programs out there and everything else, but I'm telling you, at 50 years of doing this, or whatever, 35 or 40 years, it's really, it really depends on the person, okay? And the main thing is just eat less, okay? The exercise is cool too, but you know, abs are made in the kitchen, all right? So. You know, you can go jog three miles a day, but if you're still eating four slices of bread a day, it's gonna counteract that whole thing. So, you know, you're gonna eat less. So what I did today, I kept it super simple, and I got this fish, and I just put some pepper on it, and then I started using this Danos, which is really low salt. So that's really the reason I'm using that. And we have a code down in the description below. This is becoming real popular these days, is Danos seasoning, they have a spicy version. Um, but you can check out that code and save some money, and and uh, so that works out really well. It's pretty tasty and again, low salt. And I just put a little bit of butter in here. A tablespoon of butter has like 100 calories. So again, it's portion control. You can eat anything you want, okay? It's better to eat healthy foods, but as long as you keep it down low, you'll be fine. Like a full adult like me, you know, I'm trying to keep it like 2,000 calories. And when I get into that, I'll drop it down even. But I got a tablespoon of butter in here, which again, is about 100 calories or so. And you know, between two of us, between Darcy and I, you can eat this fish, it's no big deal. I'm not worried about the protein, and I can actually just, I'm actually gonna take this off right now. So that's pretty much done, and I'm still talking. All right, and over here for your vegetables, I've had this steamer for a million years. I got some B-roll of this stuff, so we don't gotta go crazy, but we're gonna put a steamer. I'm not sure if they even make this one anymore, but we'll put a steamer that I like in the Amazon store, and you can find all the pudding cooking stuff, as well as all Darcy's fishing stuff in the Amazon store if you ever wanna find something, including like this pan you guys got me, and, and all that kind of stuff, okay? So we're gonna have a nice lunch of some uh, sauteed in butter fish, some steamed broccoli, and we'll get to the table and see if even Darcy will think this is delicious. All right, guys, let's see. Now, I, I gotta 
squash a myth here. Now, quite frankly, if you're cooking dietarily <laughs> or healthy eating, listen, I don't care what they tell you on the internet, what the ads they tell you, it's not gonna taste as good, <laughs> okay? It's not gonna have the same fat, salt, and other qualities, so healthy eating, just flat out, is not gonna taste as good, okay? Less sugar, but that's the gist of it, you know? Nothing, nothing uh, tastes as good as feeling healthy and thin is. There's a saying that I just messed it up, but it's totally true. You know, and you just feel better. And I know Tell them about your beer, because they're all gonna tell you. Listen, again, it's, it's, it's portion control, okay? Uh, this beer is 150 calories. Uh, your standard Lanchard Lager, they don't have a light beer, but like a Michelob Light or some other light beer is like 100 calories, okay? So it's not a huge difference, and I'm, you know, we're not having 100 of them. No. But you know, again, if you're out on Labor Day and you're out with your family and you have a couple of beers, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? If you get so strict every day, you're gonna, you're gonna end up just totally ruining your diet. You just can't do that, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a lifelong situation, particularly for me, and it's a lifestyle, okay? So Darcy, how's it taste? This is literally like- Very a, good. Yeah? Yeah. It's literally like a bodybuilder, uh, you can see in this B-roll here. It's like a bodybuilder meal, actually. You know, we got some nice protein, some broccoli, and uh, that's it. You know, for me, I, I like to go very low carbohydrates. Your body does not need a lot of carbohydrates, okay? Uh, we all overeat them. So stick to the vegetables and some protein, and you'll be good. And you can put some lemon on there, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Super yummy. I have no problem eating healthy. I just have a really bad sweet tooth, but I think I'll just do that when he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I eat sweets in the middle of the night, literally. I'm but I've been, good, I've been good lately, right? When, I, when, when you ask me, what do I say lately? Anytime I pick up any, compared to six days ago, anytime I pick up any kind of cookie or whatever it is, Give me some, give me some, give me some. And so far, like last night I did it, he didn't ask for one cookie. So no. I have to hide my cookies and hide the sweets for now on. But comment down below if you eat sweets in the middle of the night like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Such a bad thing. I sound like I'm a high schooler. No, they're wrong. You know, you get the, get the body for it, sweetheart. So God bless you. Um, that's about it. Yep, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Looking forward to getting out there real soon. Literally, the mullet run has just begun. I love the mullet run, so get ready for some epic content. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Follow your dreams.